Welcome to Black Sheep Blogger. Today I'll be reviewing the ADSX Rescue Military Issue Combat Application Tourniquet for hunting, hiking, first aid, survival. Uh, again, something everybody should have in their trauma kit. I got mine, it was all put together, but I did not like the way that they put it together, so I decided to fix it myself. Um, when I got it, if you see here, it's a double buckle. It was through this first buckle when I got it. So go all the way around, get yourself a nice size tourniquet not bad but then once I would put the tourniquet on I noticed that it was just going entirely too far over and I had so much excess left and maybe on a bigger person this might be more feasible for them but because I'm tiny I guess I'm going to have to adjust it so I'm going through the first one so there's a first belt buckle that's already attached to the rest of the mechanism so I'm gonna go through that first one and pull through and then go through the second gotta keep your velcro away from each other because if you're doing that at the same time get stuck here it's gonna be a pain in the butt for you so now I have this which causes it's tight so you're gonna have to work it through so I'm gonna actually do this on my leg for you to show you how to do it so we're gonna <clears throat> assume I have a bleeding leg injury anywhere from the top of my thigh all the way down it doesn't matter where it is as long as you go all the way up, all the way up, as high as you can on the extremity, and now you're going to pull this through as tight as possible, tight until it feels tight. The main tightness is going to come from the windlass, the windlass system, windlass. So now basically, you would turn this. Remember to always go towards your heart. You always want to be pulling towards your heart. Cut the bleeding. So you're going to turn this until you notice that the bleeding in your injury completely stops. I could probably turn this 17 times, but I'm going to turn it four because I feel circulation stopping in my leg already. Maybe one more. Yeah, no, that hurts. Right. So in that case, it would be fine if it hurt while you're out in the field. That's, that's absolutely fine. So then there's a little buckle over here. I got that in place. A lot of them have like a little triangle or a little thing and you got to pull that latch and pop it in. This one is against itself. So no matter which way you turn, if you turn the opposite way of me, it would just sit under there like that and hold it. So you know it's not going to move. It's long enough to fit through. Now you take the rest of your Velcro, go all the way around. And now you'll see the Velcro actually ends right before where your windlass goes. So you put this over here, and this gives you the op option, the right time and date as to when you put this tourniquet on, which is very important when you're, say, out in the field, emergency is happening, and then real medical techs come along to take care of things. They know when this was dressed, when everything was done to this injury. Very simple. Pull that out. Unwind it. I like to put this back in place. And Velcro. Pull up, just like regular belt, and back off again. You could do the exact same thing with your arm. Again, my arms are tiny. So put it on. And if you got an injury anywhere in your arm, you're not going to hold it out like this, like out to the side, chicken arm. You just can't do it because you're going to go straight down. So then you're going to start tightening. There's a better one-handed method with this one, which they actually show you. So I'd be keeping my arm down as much as possible. See, it's just one-handed operation. You just keep, pull back, just pull it again. So now I'm gonna hold this against here. While I spin this out as many times as possible until you see the bleeding has stopped. This can be done to yourself. It's better somebody else. One thing I hate is this Velcro thing because it keeps flapping itself back over and wanting to go back in whether I want it to or not. So now, this is going to get stuck under the opposite one. I'm going to bring this around. I'm going to do this. I'm going to go across. And then, I'm going to close it off. Right there. And then the option is still there to write everything you need to. You could have just, as, as you were doing it, you can adjust a little further to make it easier to write. I mean, in an emergency, you're not really going to be able to do too much anyway. So, there you have it. Very easy to use. Something everyone should definitely have in any of their trauma kits. Alright, have a great day.